Hey guys, this is John with Lumitex Minute Expert, and today we're going to talk to you about constant power devices. Now, in part one of the series, we talked about Ohm's Law, and we looked at how undersizing wire can reduce the voltage to your critical accessories on your boat, off-roader, or truck. In today's session, we're going to repeat the same experiments, except we're going to look at constant power devices. Now, it's real important to understand a little bit about constant power devices, because a lot of today's more sophisticated electronics, like radios, navigational equipment, or your high-powered floodlights are constant power devices. What's that mean? Well, it means that the devices are designed to operate at a constant level of performance, regardless of fluctuations in the input voltage. Now, it's important to understand that power is expressed in watts, and we calculate watts by multiplying the input voltage to the device times the current going through the device. Now, these are both 60-watt floodlights, about the same as the halogen lights we used in part one of the video series. So all of these lights, we would expect them to use about 5 amps of current when connected directly to a 12-volt battery. In that experiment, we set it up initially with 10 gauge wire, we went to 18 gauge wire, and we saw the difference of voltages and currents through the system as we increased the resistance in the wire by downsizing the wire. We're gonna replicate those experiments here with the constant power 60 watt devices and see what we learn. Now when we turn on the device with the thinner wire, we notice some interesting things. First, we notice that the voltage supplied to the device has gone down, just like it was with the halogen lights in part one of the series. However, unlike part one of the series, the output of these lights remained about the same, little north of 12,500 lumens per lights. The other thing that's very interesting to notice is that in part one, we saw that the current through the devices went down. With our constant power devices, we actually see the current through the circuit go up. Why is that? Well, we said that a constant power device is going to deliver the same power regardless of input voltage. With the input voltage decreased and a constant power, we know that we need to increase current. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, wire sizing is critical for minimizing the voltage drop on your system and delivering the high performance that your constant power devices are designed to deliver. To learn more, visit www.lumatechlighting.com front slash minute expert. You can download wire sizing guides and look at the entire Minute Expert library.